Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to create your own custom GPTs tailored to your brand or business to better optimize the results you're getting. So this is a new feature within ChatGPT. You do have to have the ChatGPT Plus, which is the premium version of ChatGPT. And if you do, you will see uh, when we go right here and expand the sidebar, you should see a new explore feature here. And you do need to make sure that chat GPT-4 is selected. So if you don't see this new kind of dashboard or interface, it's rolling out and you should see it within the next couple of days. Now, what I want you to do is click the explore button here on the sidebar. And we are now going to be able to see up at the very top, my GPTs. Now, You'll have some other custom ones that are made by OpenAI. One of them is for the new Dolly, uh, for imagery. There's one for data analysis. You get the point. These are all templates and things such as that. If we go here and click the addition symbol where it says create a GPT, go ahead and click on that there. You'll be presented with the new GPT builder. Now, you need to message this. The first message you input here into the GPT builder needs to be what you want your GPT uh, to be. So what customizations do you want to add? So I've already created one here. And again, this is just an example, but I want to make a GPT for my YouTube channel. Uh, I create tutorial videos for all types of software and technology. I want my GPT to be able to help me with video ideas and the most asked questions online regarding technology, software, and AI. So this is something that I came up with on my own. And I want to go ahead and hit enter. And you should see that the GPT builder is kind of customizing and optimizing. You should see where it says updating GPT, depending on kind of what you put in here uh, will depend on how long this will take. So we'll go ahead and speed this up now and come back. Once it is updated, it'll say, you know, great choice. Your GPT will be fantastic. Now let's give your GPT a name. And it says, how about tech tutor? Would you like to confirm this name or suggest another? So like with anything within chat GPT, you can say suggest five more options and then it'll give you five more options for the name of your builder. Now, as you can see up here, you see something that says create or configure. If we ever want to rename or give it a name, we can go to configure and we can name our GPT, give it a description and do a couple of other things under configure. So as you can see, it's gonna give me a few different names here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with tech tutor there. Uh, I'll go ahead and say that I like, let's just say, digital guide. So that's the one that I like. So we'll give it a name and I can always go back under configure and rename it. So we're going to go ahead and go through this process and I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to build it out to a point to where you can actually utilize it for uh, for good, right? So it's going to go ahead and once you give it a name, it's going to generate a profile picture. Now, depending on what name you've given it, uh, it takes a bunch of other different data from the information you've given it. It's going to try to generate a profile picture. So let it update and I'll show you what that looks like. So here's the profile picture. It's kind of like a compass uh, with some kind of tech and digital uh, sorcery going on there. So I do like that. It's kind of a sci-fi thing. So do you like it or would you like to make any changes? I like it. So I'll say I love it, right? Uh, and that will go ahead and you can see over to the right, it's giving us a preview of our GPT. So it's giving us the imagery that it's going to use for our profile here. And it's giving us the name right here. And again, we can go to configure at any time uh, and change. If we wanted to, we could even click on this and upload a photo. Uh, say you created one yourself in Canva or used Mid Journey or even used Dolly uh, to create something. You can click on that image and upload a photo and it'll bring up an option for you to upload a photo from your computer. So it says, good, to start, could you share more about the specific types of content or areas within technology and software you'd like the GPT to focus on? This will help us in tailoring its expertise and suggestions. Now, I will give you this advice. The more detailed that you can be here in these next couple of steps, the better and more optimized to you and your use case the GPT will be. So go ahead and give as much data here as you possibly can. And as through this entire process, as you insert more information, you'll see that the GPT builder will be updating your GPT as you provide it information. So the next few steps are going to be the builder asking you a couple of questions like what tone would you like the GPT to be designed under? Um, is there any uh, other kind of communication methods you would like for us to implore? Are there any type of kind of unique 
things about you that you'd like to build into the GPT. It really is cool. So really take your time and put in some information that will create a tailored experience for you that can really be helpful going forward. When you're done and it says, what would you, you know, what would you like to do first with the GPT? Uh, you can type it in here or you can go to the configure tab and go ahead and rename or name it if you want to. Give it a description. Look at the instructions. You can even edit. You can make this bigger to kind of go in here and edit and really fine tune things. You can go in and look at the conversation starters. You can remove them by clicking here if you don't think that's a good conversation starter. And you can even edit them by, you know, double clicking and adding your own. So go in and, you know, tailor the conversation starters to be what you want them to be. You can even upload files to allow the GPT to gain knowledge like images, videos, text files, and then capabilities you can check or uncheck. Do you want it to be able to web browse? Do you want the Dolly image generation? And do you want code interpreter? All of these things uh, can be used or not used by you either checking or unchecking. You can go to add actions by adding an action and add a specific action if you want to. And then under additional settings where that drop down, you can say use conversation data in your GPT to improve our models. So as you progress and as you kind of have conversations and dialogue and prompting with the GPT, it'll learn from that. And so leave that checked there under additional settings. Once you're done and the preview looks kind of how you like you want it, go to the save button here and click save and only people with a link or only me, you can make this public. You can make this a public GPT or you can make it only you or only people with a link. So I'm going to do only people with a link and then I'm going to hit confirm. And if you ever want to, you can go over here, get the link and copy that link and to you know, share it with your team if a team is working with you. Now, if we go over here to our sidebar here and go to explore, you can see here under my GPTs, the digital guide that I just created is right here under my GPTs or on the sidebar. You can go directly to it by clicking on it here underneath chat GPT. This one here is the one that you just created. If you want, you can click these three dots to hide that from the sidebar if that's something that you want. And now we can look at our own personalized GPT. So as you can see, it's began to answer the question and the prompt, and it's going to be tailored, as you can see, uh, for the ethos of your YouTube channel, right? It's tailored to the information that you've given it, right? So if I wanted to, I can always go here and create a new prompt within my GPT, uh, as long as I have it selected. So we can deselect and unselect this by opening up the sidebar, and I can go right back to the normal chat GPT. But right here under mine, I can begin to message and attach files just like I normally would into a GPT. So just remember that you are interacting with your own customized GPT, right? So that's a very important thing for you to understand. So lastly, I'll show you an example. I ask it, what are the most common questions being asked about Facebook? And what are some video ideas that would be good for the channel? So the YouTube channel. So it's giving me ideas like best time to post, uh, posting frequency. So now that I've added more detail with my prompt and my questions, it's giving me some great ideas for videos. Um, how to hide excessive posters, uh, how to manage privacy settings, how to balance your Facebook feed. And these are all great video ideas for my channel. So you can see how the tailored GPTs can really help you. And it's even given me ideas for like live streams that I can do on the, on the YouTube channel. Uh, so again, you go up here on the sidebar, have to have chat GPT plus go to right here where it says explore and create your own by going to create a GPT. Let me know in the comment section, what ideas have you had and what custom GPTs are you creating? I would love to know. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.